Red Max Entertainment, turning music into memories. Hello guys, this is Brandon Havrilla from Red Max Entertainment. This is a requested video, and um, this is on fading between scenes in My DMX 3.0. So first off, I'm going to open up a recent show. This is for an open mic show I'm doing at my school this Friday. And the reason I'm opening up a show previously is because I already have a whole bunch of scenes programmed. So now, what I'm going to do is add another scene here, okay? Figure I put my lights in here, set them however I want, right? Now, over here in the properties window, like I discussed in my main MyDMX 3.0 tutorial, this is where you can name your scene. I'm just going to name it black and white. Demo. Now, under this properties column here, you'll see fade. Now what fade does is it's automatically off by default. So what you want to do is turn this on and you'll see this little display. This is the shape of your scene, meaning it comes on straight up. It comes on, your scene plays through and then your scene turns off or it repeats and so on. So what you're going to want to do to get this to fade is these two fade in columns down here. This first one is for fading in which is gonna turn into a slant. So it slowly fades in, stays on, and then slowly fades out. Um, this gives you a lot of control because you could have it fade in and you could have it fade out. Now, if you do this on a series of scenes and you switch between them, they'll cross fade between scenes. So it's a really neat feature. So what you're gonna wanna do is um, mess with this. If you want it over a minute, you're gonna hit that. If you want it over a second, you're gonna hit that one. And if you want it over, you know, 0.4 seconds kind of thing, you're gonna hit that one. So that's gonna be very small and very quick. Normally I do two to three seconds for a fade in and then usually equal or one less for a fade out. So I'm going to do three and three. So you'll see the scene fades in, it plays, and then it fades out. So if I hit the play button up here, it's going to keep repeating that. The reason is, is that there's one step here, whole times one second, and so on. Now switching between these scenes though, if I go into the live tab and I switch between, and you watch the faders down here, they're gonna fade in between. So that is basically how you are gonna fade between scenes in my DMX 3.0. I appreciate you guys watching this video. If you liked it, if it helped you out, leave a like below. And don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. Now, if you have any questions on other my DMX 3.0 features, feel free to leave a comment below. Um, and that's actually why this video was made. Someone was asking on one of my other videos. So I hope you guys like it. If you want a full detailed description of my DMX 3.0, check out my other video. I'll put the link in the description.